マリコ殿の歌じゃ。Achiba no Kata's real character is revealed through her act of betrayal towards Lord Ishido, which is particularly significant considering her complex history with Toranaga. In episode 9 of Shogun, Mariko embarks on the task of composing a poem centered around a seemingly lifeless branch. Following her long awaited reunion with Achiba no Kata, the poem in question ultimately became the last piece of writing she ever produced. Lady Ochiba dedicates herself to the noble task of protecting her son. Who holds the esteemed position of being the young heir of the Taiko? Together, they engage in a thoughtful and intellectual discussion, engaging in a debate centered around the profound poem. Flowers are flowers only, are flowers, only flowers because, they, because fall. they fall. Mariko's final Mariko's remarks final to her remark before she to went. Before she went, lyrics, final the lyrics, line. final line. In Shogun, the ultimate plot twist arose when it was abruptly exposed that Ochiba no Kata and Lord Toranaga had been undercover conspiring to betray Lord Ishido. Ochiba. Who was secretly escorted from Osaka to Ajiro wrote a little poem, and Toranaga is seen reading it. Toranaga undergoes a significant emotional transformation upon receiving the news that Ochiba has agreed to abstain from supporting Ishido in the upcoming Battle of Sekigahara. This development brings about a deep and overwhelming feeling of relief for Toranaga. The poem suggests that words will spread like flowers and leaves, creating a wildfire. Toranaga clarifies that the poem he verbally recites comprises verses attributed to Lady Mariko, so suggesting that Ochiba no Kata had transmitted one of her poems to him in the form of an enigmatic communication. In the literary work Ochiba no Kata, the character Lady Mariko expresses her clear intention to betray Lord Ishido as the impending conflict approaches. This affirmation is conveyed through her poetic utterances, which serve as a powerful means of communication and self expression. The term fallen leaves refers to Ochiba, which means fallen leaves. If Ochiba could speak the truth, the poem says, it could start a bonfire that would destroy everything. A profound discovery was made by the intelligent Lord Toranaga. It was none other than the mysterious message that lay hidden within the poetic verses crafted by Mariko. This revelation came to light through the deciphering of a letter penned by Ochiba no Kata. Lord Toranaga's keen intellect and discerning eye. Allowed him to unravel the cryptic meaning concealed within Mariko's poetry, shedding light on a secret that had long eluded others. The letter doesn't say it, but the poetry in Mariko's remarks convinced Toranaga that the heir's army won't fight for Lord Ishido. Mariko's rise to power can be seen as the final element in Toranaga's intricate plan. <laughs>